is near. A la 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 la, I need the words. La la. Well, hello and welcome back, and thanks for coming back. Downtown Keto Patfos is coming up, especially for you. And we're in the little area where all the bus transfers park up. If you want to go on the zoo transfer, there's their bus. And this is one of the coaches that operates for the Ocean Vision. And of course, these are the Paphos sightseeing buses. So if you want to go on the Circlia tour or the Sights of Paphos tour, this is where you come. You pay a small fee, you can get on and you can get off if you pay that little bit extra. And of course, that's valid for 24 hours. Now, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, her name is Miss Ochin. Gracivia Labouf. It's me, it's me, it's me. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And talking about these buses, it's always such a fun to watch people enjoying the wedding party whilst they're sitting on the second floor and observing everything from the highest point. It must be amazing, by the way. And every time when they see a bunch of people and they passing away they always shouting and singing and dancing it must be a huge fun to be at present on such a wedding on the next floor of this bus yeah open air tour buses in downtown Paphos if you want more information on them well go look for our guys Paphos Sea Cruises because they've got an open top bus that could be waiting especially for you. This is the main car park area, by the way. This is where the buses park up. And of course, in the distance, you can see all the cars. And this car park is currently free of charge. Uh, you're looking at me and you're saying, this is a car, bus car, poo, bus park. Well, this particular part is, and behind you is the main car park. You're the most beautiful woman in the world. Your name is Miss Ochin Grisivi Alabouf. Thank you very much, Mr. Paul. But I was uh, sure that you're talking about Bass Park and uh, showing me. Uh, I don't think I'm that huge to be all buses parked on my territory, section. <laughs> no, but I think a few people understand that she's the attraction on the little channel known as Marika and me wouldn't be quite the same if this blonde beauty was not on camera and of course making her little well mistakes in English shall we say often very very on purpose indeed what would you do if I will settle my English and then I won't do any mistakes whatsoever wouldn't it be boring by the way no I shouldn't no it'd be boring but of course, if you are new to the channel, Miss Ochin Grisivi Labouf does speak seven languages fluently. And I mean this without any insult whatsoever. English is her worst. And as you may have noticed, she speaks better English than you and me. But only because it's my worst. It's getting so nice and it's getting so interesting. By the way, what I was saying yesterday, and we were laughing, by the way, I said the previous week, and it was against camera, something like that, Mr. Paul. And I said the previous week, it was so chill when we were sitting in the evenings on the Pelican, in the Pelican restaurant, I said I was so frigid. Yes, indeed. Then I thought, no, frigid. And then I immediately understood of this Mr. Paul's glasses sliding down, that I said something wrong again. And then I improved myself and said, I was frozen. Yes, indeed. Frozen, frigid, and frigid. It is. Blah, blah, blah. Even I can't say it correctly. All rolled into one. And I'm pretty sure you understand that she's not frigid. Now, come on. Let's head down towards the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Because that's what we all want to see, isn't it? Perhaps if your name is Lady Whitney and is a superstar in your life called Sir Jason. Look at that. Hopefully we can bring that little bit of brightness into your life as we take you with us down to the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea on a spectacality of a weekend indeed. Of course, it's British Easter, so many people are gallivanting around in the UK. Hopefully the weather's not treating you too badly and hopefully you're not stuck in too much of gridlock traffic because this is downtown Paphos and guess what? It's waiting especially for you. 
It's a spectacality of a day indeed, there's no doubt about that. So if your name is Sir Jim, cuddle up to Lady Amanda. Give her a cuddle, give her a kiss, because very, very soon indeed, you will be jetting in to downtown Cato Paphos and having a spectacality of a holiday indeed. It appears that these two little metal posts have had a bit of a battering from something. Can you imagine? I know why they've done it. So for me, to lie down, not lie down, to skip. To, to skip, skip and fall over it. And uh, no, and lace my laces. And lace your laces. There we go. That's why those two metal poles have been bent over, shall we say, so that people can put their little tootsies on there and tie up their laces. Now, get ready for it because you are about to feast your eyes and you are about to digest the beauty and the spectacality and all of the blueness in downtown Ketapapos. There's a catamaran over yonder and there's a gentleman or two on some jet skis whizzing around and they are having the time of their lives. That sky, it's looking blue. That sea, you've guessed it, it's looking very, very blue indeed. Mr. Paul, yep, he's dressed head to toe in blue. So that must mean one thing. All that is missing is... together with you, our dearest members of family. So get yourself on the big bird and take me with you, of course. Or a canoe, I can paddle like crazy. And let's get into this beautiful luxury island of love and start enjoying the sun, these views around us, the restaurant and beautiful food like a Cypriot meze of fish or Cypriot meze of meat whichever you decide you choose yes indeed there is a restaurant or a taverna in downtown papos with your name on it it could be that one over there that's called the harbor and they've also got a great great pizzeria as well by the way often people forget that while they're diving into the sovlaki or perhaps their giant pork chops but most people like to chill out there and of course sup on a pint or two perhaps an orange juice perhaps a hot frappe sorry frappe hot latte or a chilled frappe while they look out into that blueness and enjoy the spectacality you said it right, Mr. Paul, as if you knew that I was thinking about cold frappe because the frappe, it's something that I really loved since I arrived here 23 years ago, whole life ago. And uh, I remember that I couldn't imagine how people could drink a cold coffee, never mind cold, frozen, some ice to be put in inside, and even instead of milk, you would have asked for a, uh, a scoop of vanilla ice cream. The combination of it was amazing. And since then, as soon as the summer comes down, I'm really dreaming of it and thinking that it's one of the best drinks in the coffee world that I have ever tasted. It is indeed. And if we all know the familiar story, the way cold frappe came about, there was a coffee competition going on. I believe it was in Italy or it was in Greece. I'm not quite sure now. And someone couldn't get the coffee machine to work correctly. And they came up with the idea of a cold coffee, served it to the judges and the judges were blown away. But the rest is history. And now, of course, frappe is one of the most popular drinks in the world. Look at that. Two superstars are going up with the Paphos water sports operation captain savos is at the helm of the boat and there's two guys up in the clouds and they're getting a great great view indeed and remember if you like what you see hit that like click that subscribe don't forget to keep coming back for that little bit more of our complete and utter madness as we take you on our travels in and around Paphos. And of course, if you really want to keep the channel afloat, why not go and hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform? That's where you could gift us that virtual coffee or two as a thank you or as a gesture of goodwill. Or perhaps like Lady Whitney and of course her Sir Jason, our latest family superstar members, join us by the Buy Me A Coffee platform starting off at only 10 euros a month. By the way, uh, we really, really appreciate your effort, uh, Lady Whitney and Mr. Jason. Is he Mr. or is he He's Sir? He's a Sir. Sir Jason, we uh, understand uh, 
you know, everything in this world should be valued, as we say. Even if you put your little granddaughter or daughter to do something, you always say, good boy or good girl, you know, it's again valuing of that little person and he or she understands that it did it well. So in our understanding, we understand that we're doing something well. This is appreciation of yours towards us, to our work, and you know, you bring to our world and to our hearts such a happiness and motivation to go on. Thank you very much. For that. Thank you very, very much, of course, to all of our superstar members and the people who trouble to go through to the Buy Me Coffee platform and give us that virtual coffee or two. So, Mark Peacock, thank you very, very much indeed. And we'll be looking forward to seeing yourselves and your mum and your wife and, of course, those two beautiful daughters in the downtown Kedipapos promenade and harbour. We're going to leave you with that for review. Frolicking out in the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. A boat or two, some people up in the clouds, some jet skiing, a catamaran, and of course the most beautiful woman in the world with the background all framed in blue. I would like to thank you as well and tell to you we wish you were here. The sun is really playing the performance today. That's why so many people come out and enjoying themselves. We wish you were here. Don't forget that we're loving you to bits and kissing you from the bottom of our two hearts. Thanks for watching. And of course, we'll see you again very, very soon indeed, somewhere in downtown Kedipapos, in particular on the promenade and the harbour area. I would like to wish all of our English viewers and of course, some of the other viewers out there where your Easter has fallen early, a very, very happy Easter indeed. Thanks for watching.